Hey, how's it going everyone? I am Matt Larson 10 and there is a poll released on May 24th that I think everyone should take a look at. First of all, the poll is conducted online among 8,662 adults nationwide. After the poll was completed, the data was processed through a weighting program to ensure that the sample reflects the overall population in terms of age, race, gender, political party, and other factors. The processing step is standard among polling agencies and is necessary because the different segments of the population may answer more than others, i.e., uh, many Ron Paul supporters are of the younger age, 18 to 30, and they are much more apt to go online and answer an online poll, so they're going to make sure each age range is uh, represented equally. Here are the numbers. An overwhelming 93% of respondents had a favorable opinion of Ron Paul, which transcends party affiliation. This is Republicans, Democrats, and independents all answering this. Ron Paul was the highest at 93%. Then, additionally, 79% think he made the right decision to join the race for the Republican nomination. Uh, there's another category. They say that uh, 43% of poll respondents still think it's likely that Ron Paul will win the Republican nomination, while 32% say it's unlikely, 24% are unsure. Interestingly, when asked which Republican candidate they'd support for the GOP nomination, choosing between Mitt Romney, Newt Gingrich, Rick Santorum, and Ron Paul, 90% support Ron Paul. And they say that it's thanks to a record level of federal debt mounting concern and about deficit spending and multiple foreign conflicts, Paul and his anti-federal reserve, anti-interventionalist, small government message are keenly relevant in this year's election conversation. When asked if the country would be better or worse off in its under worse off than it is under Obama administration if Ron Paul was the elected president, ninety percent said it would be better off with Ron Paul in the Oval Oval Office. So this is phenomenal. What they also go on to say is if Ron Paul was actually to win the GOP nomination, 92% of poll respondents say they would cast their vote for him. So to say that Ron Paul is unelectable is just, it's a far cry. Uh, we've known this for a long time. Ron Paul is the most electable candidate out there. He's the only one that distinguishes himself, himself away from Obama. Romney has so many issues where he's been w with Obama and then he's flipped this year because he's trying to become more conservative. What he's doing is taking a page out of Ron Paul's playbook and saying exactly what Ron Paul says. Uh, I can't even call it Ron Paul's playbook because it's Ron Paul's playbook is the Constitution. So Romney is trying to sound like he's a constitutionalist, limited government, less spending, less debt, less wars, when in reality we all know that's not true. So I'm going to put the link for this down below. You guys can check it out for yourself, read all the numbers. Uh, it's a pretty good article, even though it has a little bit of mainstream media spin at the top. It says he hasn't won a single state or primary caucus yet. Uh, but Ron Paul soldiers on in the 2012 GOP presidential race. We know that's not true. We know Ron Paul's won at least 11 uh, states overall so far. So we're doing great. Today's Texas. You guys, if you live in Texas, get out there and vote. Just another one of my reminders. I will uh, keep you guys up to date on how the results are tonight when they start uh, coming out. But for now, make sure you guys thumbs up this video, share it with friends and family. If you're new to my video, click that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the current Ron Paul news. I am Matt Larson 10. Go Ron Paul. Peace.